British Olympic legend Daley Thompson became the 8,000th person to carry the Olympic flame since the torch relay began on May 19th. Thompson is one of the most decorated British Olympians of all time, having earned a pair of decathlon gold medals to go along with his three Commonwealth golds. A busy Amanda Davis sat down with Thompson as the start of the London Games draws near. What's the biggest challenge for an athlete once the Games gets underway? The decathlon is pretty late on in terms of the Games as a whole. Um, I, I think there's, there's a couple of challenges. I, I think one of them is staying away from the swimmers that have finished early because they're, they're the party animals and they just want to go and run, a, run them ragged and shout and scream, which is understandable. But I think uh, what probably is uh, one of the biggest problems is that not everybody enjoys being in the village. If you, if you go into the village, it's uh, quite claustrophobic and you get to every day sit in the dining halls and, and pass on the, on the streets and all that kind of stuff. All the people that you've got to compete against and a lot of people don't enjoy that environment. So it's trying to be as normal as you can in a very strange and probably hostile envi environment. Let's move on to the decathlon. Uh, I interviewed Brian Clay. Everybody was talking about him and this being uh, his games. He's not going to be there. So how do you see it panning out? Well, lucky for America, they've got this other guy called uh, Ashton Eaton. And he's absolutely uh, fantastic. In fact, he broke the world record in Eugene a couple of weeks ago. And uh, he looks head and shoulders above, uh, above everybody else. You were unbeaten for eight years. Nine, I think. Was it nine? Sorry. <laughs> a long time. Yeah, a long time. As that time goes on, does that... It gets longer. Next yeah. time it's ten. <laughs> does that make you, uh, well, increase the air of invincibility or does it add the pressure onto you, do you think? Well, I, I think it depends if you consider it to be pressure. I think that whenever you're, you're pretty good, you, you want to stay that way and uh, you try and do uh, whatever it takes. So you, you train more and you want to compete better and stuff. So I think that sometimes, at least for somebody like me, it, it's good to, ha to have people thinking that you're unbeatable and, and all that kind of stuff. And you're right, there, there is a little bit of pressure, but, but for me, that's, a, that's an enjoyable thing. We're talking about that bit because of Usain Bolt. How worried would you be if, if you were he now? Well, if I was him, I'd, I'd already know that, that I'm the fastest man the world has ever seen. And even though my preparations hasn't, haven't gone well, that if I could use the last couple of weeks to, to get into really good shape, then I should be able to cope with the other guys. Do you think it's beneficial, or how beneficial do you think it is, having that rivalry with Johan Blake? I think that it's fantastic for Johan, because he knows what the yardstick is. He sees the yardstick every day. And so that means that if he's had a, a really good winter, and clearly he has, and he's running well, clearly he is, I think that, that means he's really confident. And I think confidence going into a major championship, or the major championship, is, is probably the biggest thing. There's quite a few battles that people are talking about ahead of this Olympics. Michael Phelps and, and Lochte as yeah, well. Yeah, that's, that's a, another, again, a, another great one. I, I think Lochte's coming in full of confidence. Michael Phelps, hasn't been the swimmer he was four years ago and Lochte clearly feels he's got a fantastic chance so so I think both of those stories are, are very similar and going to be some of the best stories of the games so here we are sitting right here in London in front of ah the London Eye the London Eye it's going to be quite special this for London as a whole isn't it this event well it's going to be special for the UK I, I know that it's London centric but I think that the organisers have, have really tried to involve as much of the country as possible. And one of the things that they're doing, they've got uh, EDF and Energy of the Nation, and that's a, a unique thing by where, through Twitter, you can measure all the positivity that's going on about the Games, and every night at the London Eye, that, at 9 o'clock, they're going to have a light show. And uh, hopefully it'll be shining gold most evenings, because... Uh, that will prove that uh, the whole nation is getting behind it and we're all feeling fantastically positive about it. As you can see, we are all over the London Olympics here on World Sport and anytime online. Log on, get your summer games fix at cnn.com slash Olympics. That's World Sport for the team in London and here at CNN Center. I'm Mark McKay. See you back here same time tomorrow. We keep challenging together.